then. My question is for the chair of the Internal Economy Committee, Senator Marwa. From mid-August, when Prime Minister Trudeau prorogued Parliament until last week, the Senate's Internal Economy held six meetings. All of those six meetings were held solely by video conference, as specified on the notices of meeting. In those meetings, SEBA approved the, the $100, cent, or $100 million Senate financial statements, at long last, payment of $500,000 to the victims of Don Meredith, and the expenditure of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money. Senator Marwa, what was your authority to hold those six meetings since prorogation only by Zoom? Senator Marwa. Thank you, Senator, for that question. Uh, I didn't realize it was six meetings. We've been busy, so thank you for reminding me. But uh, you're right, after the when prorogation took place, uh, steering did meet, and we were concerned about uh, two things. We were very concerned that uh, there were some very urgent issues that had to get dealt with over several weeks. And we were also concerned about the pandemic and the fact that we didn't want to get all the senators in here and ex in person and really have them exposed and the staff exposed to the virus. So steering met, and we ex consulted, uh, if my memory is correct, extensively with, uh, with the interim clerk of the Senate and the procedural team. We consulted with the clerk of the committee and the law clerk. And uh, based on those deliberations, uh, we came to a conclusion that the best way to proceed is for us to authorize CEBA to use our delegated powers that CEBA, that steering had, to allow CEBA to sit virtually. And that's what we did. And that was unanimous, basically, at, uh, at steering. And we conveyed that to CEBA at the next meeting. So if you look at the process, the process was, uh, there was extensive consultation with the experts. Uh, it was unanimous at steering. And the fact it was fully transparent in terms of what we were doing because we communicated that to the Senate. And as far as I know, nobody really raised any issues at CEBA, and the Conservative caucus was fully present at every single meeting. I hope that helps, Senator. Matters. Well, Senator Marwa, um, thank you for that context. But under the Parliament of Canada Act, CEBA as a committee continues to exist, and its membership continues until it's changed. But the unusual method of meeting for three Senate committees, which was contained in that April sessional order, that ceased with prorogation. So in a media article last week, you claimed that the Conservative opposition was putting the Senate at risk by refusing unanimous consent to hold CEBA meetings solely by Zoom, which would have prevented senators from attending in person. But what really puts the Senate at risk, Senator Marwa, is stunningly bad governance. How can, how can taxpayers in Canada trust the Senate's wise expenditure of their money when CEBA continued to meet only by Zoom without proper authority? Senator Marwa. I respectfully disagree that we didn't have the proper authority. And I would point out that if there's bad governance, the Conservative caucus is as much responsible for the bad governance as I am. So thank you.